million dollar homes. That's the norm, not the exception here in the Bay Area, but as common as they are here, it's exceedingly rare in most other places across the country. Our business tech reporter Scott Budman is here with another reason that it's so difficult and so hard to make it here in the Bay Area, Scott. Yeah, you know, Raj and Janelle, we've all dealt with a couple of things here. How costly it is to living here. Also, you might have seen pictures from friends or relatives who move away then show off that big house they bought for a few hundred thousand dollars in other places, right? A new study finds that gap is as wide as ever, and we here are still the most expensive place. This is one, and this is another. Pretty much everywhere you look around San Jose, the going price for a home is a million dollars or more. According to LendingTree, 67% of homes in San Jose are worth at least a million dollars, by far the highest rate in the nation. 53% in San Francisco are worth a million. Compare that to just 6% of all homes nationwide. It's absolutely, to use a technical term, pretty crazy uh, just how big these gaps can get. And the gap is actually much bigger, according to local agent Lindsay Gridley, depending on what kind of home you're looking at. In single family homes, it's 93% are over $1 million. Lending Tree says there are two big differences between our prices and the rest of the country, tech and scarcity. Not only do you have a lot of high paying industries uh, where people can afford to spend uh, premiums on housing like the tech industry, you also have a limited amount of space. You don't have a lot of new construction. And by now, people looking to buy locally are hip to the seven figure price tags. Most of the time, especially if they are local, they are very well versed on our average sales prices around here. The one time that I'll get someone be a little surprised by that is um, transfers from out of state. Transfers from out of state. <laughs> okay. They're the we, ones who are surprised. Well, we talk about all this, we're all leaving California, but they're, they're, they're coming in. Right. Uh, all right, well, this is a, a question we've been asking for about 20 years now. <laughs> uh, is it our weather? Is it the Silicon Valley? Is it our local colleges? What makes the Bay Area so pricey? You know, it's a whole lot of things. If I had to come up on the spot with one thing, I would say this stock options. That's what makes us really unique, not only around the globe where other countries are starting to catch up, but look, other states have high salaries and good jobs and some expensive homes. But really the tech culture here mm -hmm. where you have part ownership in the company and the stock option wealth we create really leads to the amazingly high prices. I often think that the prices of homes go up as the NASDAQ goes up here more than anywhere else in the country. So we have our salaries, not us, but people have our salaries, right. and then bam, they have a 10, 20, 30 percent bonus, and that's their housing, their, their play money, so to speak. Potentially, and that's how you're able to put down. Think about just the down payment alone on a typical Bay Area house. It's so high. Yeah. Where do you get that cash? Cash in the stock options. But in the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, a lot of overnight millionaires when their companies go public. We're famous so, for it, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott.